The earth is beautiful, and numerous creatures beautify the water. Water has always been a fascinating and dark area. More than 80% of the ocean has never been surveyed, explored, or seen by humans despite our technological advances. Every year, new species are discovered, and no one knows what lurks beneath the ocean surface. An ancient sea monster may exist that we'll never know about. Isn't that a terrifying thought? Do you think the megalodon shark is the scariest creature known? Well, you were right, but not any longer. 20 creatures are terrifying and stand out as particularly more terrifying among all the creatures that have ever existed on Earth. Even though they became extinct millions of years ago, they still exist in our minds today. Let's begin our journey into 20 terrifying creatures scarier than the megalodon shark. Number 20. Gunkleosteus This creature was initially called Tyrell. Tyrell was inspired by far more famous prehistoric monsters, first labeling his discoveries awful fish. Eventually, the animal was named after Dunkel rather than Taro. While Tyrell was acknowledged when the most prominent member of the species was named Dunkleosteus Tyrelli, the name Dunkleosteus is made up of two words, osteon, which is a Greek word meaning bone, and Dunkel, which is named after David Dunkel, a famous American paleontologist whose work was primarily focused on fish fossils, but is best known for his work at the the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and Vertebrate Paleontology. This placoderm is noted for eating anything, or at least most things, and for being fast and powerful. This creature is one of the largest placoderms ever discovered, and it was one of the most ferocious during the late Devonian period, often known as the Age of Fishes. Dunkleosteus weighed up to 8,000 pounds, 3,600 kilograms, and measured 346 inches in length, 8.8 .8 meters. Dunkleosteus placoderms are noted for their strength and ability to move their jaws swiftly, allowing them to effortlessly hunt animals. Dunkleosteus fossils have been discovered in North America, Morocco, Poland, and Belgium, among other places. The Dunkleosteus appears to be a fascinating animal. However, due to its extinction and age 360 to 370 million years ago, only a little information is accessible. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Fangtooth Fish The fangtooth is a tiny fish with a compressed body laterally. Despite their diminutive stature, fangtooths have enormous heads and disproportionately long sharp teeth. When their jaws close, two sockets have formed on the sides of their brains to accommodate their teeth. The fangtooth's enormous fangs allow it to kill fish much larger than itself. Fangtooth fish are light gray while young and range in color from black to dark brown as adults. Their bodies are coated in thorns and spiky scales. They are discovered at depths ranging from 6 to 15,000 feet, typically between 1,640 and 6,562 feet. Fangtooth sharks prefer to reside in shallower depths while they are young. Small fish, shrimp, and squids are eaten by the fangtooth, which is a carnivorous and extremely active fish. They filter zooplankton from the water when they're young and travel closer to the top at night to feast on crustaceans. Adults hunt either alone or in groups, unlike other predators that ambush their prey. Fangtooth fish deliberately search out food. Their big heads enable them to swallow most prey whole, allowing them to devour fish that are a third of their size. When fangtooth's mouths are filled, they can't pump water as efficiently over their gills. As a result, they create enormous gaps between their gills and fan water over their gills from behind with their pectoral fins. Number 18. Sea Devil Anglerfish the Melanocytidae family includes the black sea devil, black sea tiny, a type of deep sea fish, and dipsy lufiform fishes. The five recognized species, two of which have popular names, are all members of the genus Melanocetus. They inhabit tropical to temperate waters in the Atlantic, India, and the Pacific, with only one species reported from the Ross Sea. Black sea deities have their uncomfortable appearance and generally pitch on the black skin of one of numerous anglerfish families. On August 8, 1995, 
The humpback anglerfish, Melanocetus johnsoni, was featured in Time magazine, becoming a major Dipsio species. Female black sea devils can grow to be the size of baseballs. Men are even tiny than fish and have more parasites. Men must bite their women to survive. Their issues will combine and provide the female with sperm, while the female will sustain the male. The anglerfish have gaping, needle-sharp teeth, stunning expressions, and gleaming greed on their heads. It's unclear whether there's a pattern to the illumination or if the light is continually moving. This greed is exploited to lure the victim in. The jaws of a gelatinous, generally scaleless, goblos body, a big head, and a jagged, diagonal facial jaw with massive, sharp, rusty, fang-like teeth distinguish black beaches. These teeth are stunning and exclusively found in the female of this species. Number 17. Pink See-Through Fantasia Pink see-through Fantasia is a sea cucumber and a fascinating creature discovered in 2007. It's a previously unknown type of free-swimming sea cucumber. Its mouth, anus, and intestines may all be seen outside. There are no precise details about the remarkable pink see-through Fantasia size. For the time being, researchers believe it attains lengths comparable to related species, namely 4.3 to 9.8 inches, 11 to 25 centimeters. While its outer skin is extremely transparent, it has a relatively bright pinkish color, hence the common name. Animalia is a kingdom. Echinodermata is a phylum. Holothuridae family. Elasipodida is the order. Pelagothuridae family. Aniptiastes is a genus. E. eximia is a species. A team of scientists and marine photographers discovered the extraordinary sea creature at a depth of approximately 8,200 feet, 2,500 meters. These experts were from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the National Geographic Society, and the WHOI Ocean Life Institute, and they worked as part of a research team. Furthermore, the aptly named sea cucumber first appeared in the Celeb Sea. This section of the western Pacific Ocean remains rather isolated. The Sulu Archipelago, Mindanao Island in the Philippines, the Sangihe Islands, Sulawesi, and Indonesia border this area. The translucent and bioluminescent species are quite bizarre, ranking among the oddest aquatic organisms on the Earth. They nearly have an otherworldly alien appearance, similar to what you'd find on an alien planet in another solar system. Number 16. Barrel Eye Fish even in a world rich with adaptations for seeing in near total darkness, the barrel eye fish, Macropinum microstoma, is one of the oddest. The barrel eye's olfactory organs are two little indentations where eyes would normally appear on a fish, and its eyes are a pair of luminous green orbs set behind its face that gaze up towards the top of its head. These deep sea fish can see through their brows. MBARI researchers demonstrated in 2009 that the fish could rotate its eyes forward to observe its meal when eating. Previously, scientists thought the barrel eye's focus was stationary, staring straight up. Researchers believe the fish steals food by hovering beneath the tentacles of a siphonophore. The barrel eye lives in depths of 2,000 to 2,600 feet in the ocean's twilight zone, 600 to 800 meters. Its eyes scan the sky for its favorite meal, mainly little crustaceans trapped in the tentacles of siphonophores, which throw shadows in the thin shimmer of sunlight from above. But with its eyes pointing upward and its mouth forward, how does this fish eat? According to MBARI experts, the barrel eye can swivel its eyeballs beneath that dome of translucent tissue. When aquarist Tommy Knowles and his team were aboard MBARI's RV, Rachel Carson with R. Oro V. Ventana, they noticed this intriguing fish while collecting jellies and comb jellies for the aquarium's upcoming Into the Deep display. Before it swam away, the team came to a halt to admire Macropinna. Number 15. Telescope Octopus The telescope octopus is a deep-sea octopus that lives at depths of 500 to 6,500 feet in the Pacific and Indian Ocean's tropical and subtropical areas. The species scientifically known as Amphitritus pelagix is around 8 inches long, with its arms accounting for roughly half of its length. The flesh of the telescope octopus is gelatinous and transparent, making it impossible to see without close inspection. Because of this trait, which the glass octopus also shares, the telescope octopus does not create shadows, making it difficult for predators to discover it. In addition to avoiding predators, the species' transparent body allows it to easily approach unsuspecting prey. The telescope octopus's tubular eyes and digestive glands are the 
the only visible body parts. In addition, the telescope octopus has delicate webbing between its tentacles. giving it a ghostly appearance. White suckers can also be found along the length of the species' eight arms. The eyes of the glass octopus protrude slightly, although not as much as those of a telescope octopus. The telescope octopus's unusual eyes provided a distinct edge in the deep water, providing a wide peripheral vision that allows it to easily observe both prey and predators. The telescoping eyes also enable constant monitoring of the nearby area. Number 14. Frilled Shark Frilled sharks are energetic predators who will lunge at their prey and swallow it completely, even if it's large. However, their regular swimming manner is eel-like, as they swim in a serpentine pattern. The frilled shark's primary prey is squid, and they have multiple rows of sharp teeth, each with three long points that are ideal for catching this prey's delicate bodies. Frilled sharks are known to eat a range of fish and other sharks despite their specialization in squids. Because frilled sharks are so uncommon in the wild, little is known about their ecology. Dissection of individuals obtained in deep sea net fisheries and observation of the occasional live individual in captivity provide scientists with minimal information they have. Frilled sharks use internal fertilization to reproduce and deliver live birth. However, they do not use a placenta to link their young as do most mammals. Rather, embryos get their energy from yolk sacs, and the mother only gives birth to her young after the juveniles have proven they can survive independently. The population trends of frill sharks are unknown. However, they are rarely seen by people and are likely naturally scarce. They are taken as bycatch in fisheries targeting other species in some regions, and in these situations, they may be retained and eaten. Any fisheries do not specifically target frilled sharks. Experts believe the frilled shark to be near threatened with extinction due to its natural rarity and occasional capture in some fisheries. Number 13. Vampire Squid The vampire squid inverts its cloak when disturbed, revealing enormous spines on the underside of its arms. This species appears to be rather dangerous when it adopts this posture. However, it's quite harmless. It isn't predatory in any way. It instead feeds on food particles captured by adhesive cells on its long, filamentous tentacles. It feeds on plant and animal matter that sinks from the water's surface in this way. Vampire squids are known to be eaten by huge fish and diving predators. Unlike shallow water squids and octopuses, vampire squids do not release black ink to avoid predators. Black or dark purple ink would be useless in the mesopelagic zone's darkness. Instead, the vampire squid exhales a colorless liquid containing many bioluminescent, light-producing particles. Potential predators are confused by the glittering lights. Vampire squids create light at the tips of each of their arms in addition to the light produced during their defense response. This light has the potential to be used as a means of communication. Male-female contacts are unlikely to occur frequently because this species is naturally scarce. Because studying vampire squids in their native environment is difficult, as it is for other deep-sea species, little is known about their behavior. Hopefully, scientists will learn more about this rare and fascinating creature as deep-sea exploration continues. Number 12. Deep-Sea Hatchetfish Deepwater hatchetfish is a deep sea fish species. It can be found in all of the world's oceans and seas. The hatchetfish population is the largest in the oceans of South and Central America. Hatchetfish come in 45 different species, depending on their size and type. They are discovered at depths ranging from 600 to 4,500 feet. There are two types of hatchetfish deep sea hatchetfish and freshwater hatchetfish. Freshwater hatchetfish, unlike deep sea species, can be kept in aquariums. The size of deep water hatchetfish differs depending on the species. Giant hatchetfish, the largest species, can grow six inches long. The color of deep water hatchetfish varies by species. Smaller hatchetfish have silver scales covering their bodies. The color of larger species can range from green to brown. The body of a deep sea hatchetfish is flat, with huge, tubular eyes pointing upwards. The deep water hatchetfish lives at vast depths with little light. Their eyes are set so they can observe the prey approaching from above. Deep sea hatchetfish eat plankton, crustaceans, and small fish. To find food, they swim toward the water's surface. Feeding takes place in the middle of the night. Because of their light-sensitive eyes, prey can be easily detected. The deep-sea hatchetfish has a short lifespan. It has a lifespan of less than a year. Number 11. Benthocodon 
Benthocodon is a jellyfish genus belonging to the Ropolone matidae family. There are only one identified species in the genus. Unlike many other Hydromedusae, these jellyfish do not have a sessile stage. Rather, they live their entire lives as plankton in the water column. From Antarctica to California to the Arctic Ocean, the genus Benthocodon can be found along the ocean floor. Benthocodon is a common species in the deep sea ocean, particularly in the water column near the seafloor. The benthic border layer, or interference zone, is crucial for biogeochemical exchanges between pelagic and benthic populations. In the abyssal northeast Pacific, a prominent member of this benthic boundary layer population, Benthocodon is a hydrozoan genus belonging to the Ropolone matidae family. Benthocodon hyalinus and Benthocodon pendunculatus are the only two species known. Although due to their small size and red coloration, they are readily confused with their other genre. Unlike many other Hydromedusae, these jellyfish do not have a sessile stage. Rather, they live their entire lives as plankton in the water column. The genus Benthocodon can be found along the seafloor from Antarctica to California and the Arctic Ocean. Number 10. Goblin Shark A goblin shark swam through the deep sea and came across a little, tasty-looking squid. The animal moves closer to its prey. However, when the fish gets closer, the snack begins to flee. As a result, the shark's jaw protrudes three inches from its mouth. Its snout is attached to three-inch long skin flaps that may be unfolded. After that, the predator snatches the squid with its fangs. After finishing the food, the shark replaces its jaw in its mouth and swims away. Goblin sharks are fish that live near the ocean's bottom, along continental shelves or the margins of continents. These pink creatures can reach a length of 12 feet and a weight of 460 pounds. Their snouts are small and their teeth are fang-like. They're called after legendary goblins that feature in Japanese folklore, and they're usually found off the coast of Japan. The bottom and top teeth of a goblin shark are connected to ligaments or bands of skin tissue curled inside its mouth. When the grub is just out of reach, the shark expands the elastic tissue in its mouth to grab it. This enables the animal to eat delicacies like teleos fish and squid. It also gives the shark a jaw-dropping appearance. Number 9. Dumbo Octopus the name Dumbo octopus refers to a genus of deep-sea umbrella octopuses with fins like Dumbo the Elephant's Ears of Disney. There are about least 15 species of Dumbo octopuses, and their limbs, like those of all umbrella octopuses, are joined by a web of skin, giving them the appearance of umbrellas when split out. Dumbo octopuses are found in the deep open ocean to depths of at least 13,100 feet 4, meters, and may be considerably deeper, making them the deepest living octopuses yet discovered. Living at these deep depths necessitates the capacity to survive in extremely cold water and utter darkness. Because Dumbo octopuses are naturally rare and in the vast deep sea, they have developed unique behaviors to maximize their chances of successfully reproducing once they locate a mate. Females can keep sperm for lengthy periods after mating with a man, and they carry eggs in various stages of development. Female Dumbo octopuses can use these advantages to transport sperm to their best developed eggs when the environmental conditions are favorable for reproduction. The octopus genus Dumbo is the deepest living of all known octopuses. It can be found at a depth of 13,100 feet 4, meters. The world's largest Dumbo octopus was 5 feet 10 inches, 1.8 meters long, and weighed 13 pounds, 5.9 kilograms, but most species are between 7.9 and 12 inches, 20 to 30 centimeters, long on average. Number 8. Mariana Snailfish the wispy, pinkish-white, smooth-skinned creatures at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench resemble abyss ghosts, but they have a distinction of substance. They're the deepest fish ever hauled back from the deep water. Pseudoliparis swearii, a Latin-inspired designation honoring Herbert Swery, a navigator on the 19th century expedition that found the Mariana Trench, is now the official scientific name for the Mariana snailfish. We're excited to have an official name for this deepest fish taken from the ocean floor. Garinger, who came to UW from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, said in a news release, They don't appear to be particularly sturdy or powerful for living in such a harsh environment but they are incredibly successful. Scientists examined the fish's physiology and conducted DNA tests to ensure that the population they sampled was sufficiently unique from other fish species to be classified as a new species. 
They studied CT scans from Friday Harbor Labs to compile a list of distinctive features for their research. Snailfish have evolved to dive deeper than other fish, allowing them to survive in deep trenches. They are safe from predators here, and the funnel form of the trench means there's a lot more food. Number 7. Gulper Eel Gulper eels have elongated bodies and resemble snakes. Eels live both in freshwater and seawater and come in various shapes and sizes. The gulper is an eel-like fish that lives in deep waters. Deep sea species known as gulper eels can be found in tropical and temperate environments. These fish are discovered at depths ranging from 3,000 to 26,200 feet. Because they have a hard time finding food in their normal habitat, they occasionally travel to the surface and may shift to rivers. Gulper eels have a snake-like body structure, making them look like real eels. Unlike real eels, they have long and thin tails, which aid with movement. The gulper eel's tail is so long that it can become tangled. Gulper eels are blackish or dark green and have nearly no pectoral fins. The fish's mouth, loosely hinged and quite large and wide, is its distinguishing feature. This monster's mouth is massive in comparison to its body. Prey can be deposited into a large pouch-like structure on the lower jaw. This fish is also known known as the pelican eel because of its pouch-like shape. It's also known as the umbrella mouth gulper, and its name comes from its enormous mouth. Number 6. Dragonfish the Diacanthus atlanticus is the scientific name for a fish known as the black dragonfish. It's a barbell dragonfish, one of six dragonfish species found in deep sea environments worldwide. The Actinoterra fiji family of animals includes black dragonfish. The species employ the bioluminescence property of the black dragonfish to lure food into the ocean and deep sea environments, making it one of the most feared predators. The black dragonfish is a dimorphic species of small, long, skinny fish with fang-like teeth. Black dragonfishes can be found worldwide in southern subtropical and temperate oceans between 25 degrees and 60 degrees south latitude. At depths of roughly 2,000 meters, 5,000 to 7,000 feet, they have an odd appearance and are noted for bioluminescence, their hunting method, and their one-of-a-kind reproduction method. This predator lives in the Indo-Pacific Ocean and attracts prey with its bioluminescence. Unlike most predators in the Pacific Ocean who use their light to attract prey, these fish can see their light and use it as a light source during hunting. Compared to the males of this species, females have very small eyes. The larvae of the black dragonfish have long stalks dangling from their bodies that serve as eyes. Their long stalks are almost as long as their bodies. If you're interested in learning more about this amazing creature, keep reading for some fascinating black dragonfish facts. After that, take a look at our eel and fang tooth fact sheets. Number 5. Tripod fish. The tripod fish is a strange but interesting looking species that come from the chilly dark depths of the ocean. This strange fish, sometimes known as a stilt walker, spends most of its life seeking food on the deep ocean floor. Thanks to three elongated projections from its modified fins, it stands like a tripod over the seafloor, earning it the moniker tripod fish. It lives at 2,950 to 15,400 feet on the seafloor. Due to their deep water existence, tripod fish are still safe from detrimental human activities. In the wild, the population of tripod fish is vast and stable, and the species is not listed as endangered. The length of a tripod fish ranges from 12 to 14 inches. The bronze body of the tripod fish, gray marks are visible on the head, abdomen, and lower half of the back. Because it walks on the sea floor with three elongated structures, the tripod fish is known as the stilt walker. The term comes from the fact that it resembles a tripod when a fish stays stationary. When a fish stands on the ocean floor, its elongated rays are rigid but when it swims, it is flexible. Researchers suggest fish employ a water pump to control ray stiffness. Tripod fish have almost no vision. Thus, they can't orient themselves in space. This is an adaptation to living in the dark. Number 4. Comb Jelly you're likely to come across bioluminescent comb jellies if you're going on a kayaking tour in Cocoa Beach. They're what makes kayaking in Florida so special. The majority of people are unaware of this creature and have likely never heard of it. The oval-shaped comb jellies are fascinating. The rows of comb-like plates that they utilize to propel themselves through the water give them their name. To create a shimmering effect, these plates reflect and diffract light. 
The comb jelly has a jelly-like structure that we identify with, although it is not the same as a jellyfish. Comb jelly has nothing to do with jellyfish. They are also genetically distinct. Comb jellies are an old form of an organism that has existed for more than 500 million years. They are at least 500 million years old, according to the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Because they can consume other comb jellies, comb jellies are considered cannibals. They feed on comb jellies that are bigger than they are, with their cilia structures in their mouths. They may bite off sections of the other comb jelly. Plankton, crabs, tiny fish, and zooplankton, on the other hand, are their preferred foods. Comb jellies also have a limited number of organs. They lack intestines, stomachs, and even lungs. Instead, nutrients and oxygen are transported through their epidermis and gastrodermis. Number 3. Deep Sea Cucumber Sea cucumbers are members of the echinoderm family, including starfish and sea urchins. Their body is shaped like a cucumber, but they have little tentacle-like tube feet to move around and feed. Sea cucumbers can confuse or hurt predators by ejecting their toxic internal organs from their bodies and directing them towards an attacker. The organs regenerate which could spare them from being eaten. Sea cucumbers range from less than an inch 2.5 centimeters, to over 6 feet, depending on the species 1.8 meters. Sea cucumbers can be found in almost every marine region, from shallow to deep waters. Benthic organisms such as sea cucumbers reside on the ocean floor. On the other hand, their larvae are planktonic, which means they float in the ocean with the currents. Sea cucumbers can reveal skeleton hook-like characteristics when disturbed, making them more difficult to devour for predators. Sea cucumbers are scavengers that eat plankton floating in the water column and small food items in the benthic zone seafloor. Their food can consist of algae, aquatic invertebrates, and waste particles. Their mouths are surrounded by tube feet, which they use to consume. Sea cucumbers reproduce both sexually and asexually. Unlike most terrestrial creatures, sea cucumber eggs are fertilized by sperm released by the male. Number 2. Ping Pong Tree Sponge the ping pong tree sponge grows to a height of roughly 50 centimeters, 20 inches, which is made up of a slender stalk. A strange array of ethereal globules at the ends of stems extending from a core body can be found at the top. It appears to be some sort of gelatinous explosion that abruptly came to a halt. It appears to be one of the more comfortable explosions. Those blobs, however, aren't quite as soft or spectral as they appear. This is when the flesh eating begins. Spicules, the microscopic structures that make up a sponge's skeleton, cover the swellings. They're hook-shaped in this example. Any little crustaceans that come into contact with them become ensnared, their bristly hairs catching on the hooks like Velcro. Cells of the ping pong tree sponge migrate slowly, ever so slowly, toward the struggling prey to begin digestion. Each cell mimics an amoeba, consuming a little portion of the unlucky victim through phagocytosis. Sponges, which are small enough to be eaten whole, generally do this to germs. Carnivorous sponges use it on considerably larger prey. This sponge's ability to thrive in the deep deserts is due to the slow motion horror display. They are habitats of the Pacific Ocean at depths of roughly 2,700 meters as far as I can tell. Number 1. Zombie Worms – Bone-Eating Worms Bones are more appealing to zombie worms than brains. In 2002, Osadax worms measuring 1 to 3 inches, 2 to 7 centimeters, were discovered to live in the bones of a rotting gray whale in the deep sea floor, about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters below the surface. More Osadax species have been discovered since then, bringing the total number of Osadax species to 26. Zombie worms absorb fats within mineral bones rather than eating them directly. They lack a mouth or a stomach, thus their eating eating manner is considerably different from ours. Their skin secretes an acid that dissolves bone, releasing the fat and protein locked therein. The fat and protein are digested by symbiotic bacteria living in the worm's bodies. It's unclear how Osidax obtains nutrients from bacteria. They could just eat the bacterium, or nutrients are delivered to the worm somehow. Osidax is best known for taking some of the final nutrients from whale skeletons that have fallen to the bottom of the ocean. Their bodies have feathery plumes that act as gills to obtain oxygens from the waters. When startled, zombie worms can retract their plumes onto their bodies for safety. The Earth is enormous, and different organisms have terrifying characteristics, but till the end of time, there will be more terrifying creatures yet to be discovered. I hope you enjoy your dive. Let us know in the comment section which captures your attention the most.